Hey guys, hello. Uh, I'll try to be fast because we're late. Hopefully everyone can hear me, see my screen, otherwise manifest something. Um, okay, cool. So I'll start by giving a quick intro to the project. Uh, probably you've heard it if you were there at the last demo, but maybe you forgot. So basically this project, Project Pikachu, the aim of this project is to um, checkpoint the state of the Filecoin blockchain into the Bitcoin blockchain. We want to do this periodically, and the motivation for doing this is that um, proof of work gives security guarantees that uh, blockchains such as Filecoin or blockchains such as proof of stake do not give. So basically, there are uh, two main components in, um, in our protocol uh, that uh, does this checkpointing. The first one is the distributed key generation. So what we want to have is to have all of the Filecoin miners um, create an, aggregate, an aggregate, <laughs> aggregated key. Um, and then basically, this will be the key that they will uh, use to um, um, sign checkpoints onto the Bitcoin blockchain. And so basically, the second step of the, of the algorithm, once this key is created, is the signing. So they do this aggregated key. They use threshold signatures, so only a threshold of them needs to be honest in, uh, in order for the checkpoint to happen. And then they will be like signing, signing this protocol, these checkpoints. And then the idea is like, um, if we use the data that is inside the checkpoint, we can um, use some storage system, for example, like PFS or Filecoin, in order to retrieve some information about the Filecoin blockchain. So that's kind of like the very, very high level description of uh, the protocol. Um, so next. <laughs> Next, let me tell you uh, what's new for those of you who were at the last demo. If you remember at the last demo, because we are still in a proof of concept slash testing mode, um, we were using Minio uh, instead of using a decentralized uh, storage provider. Uh, again, it was mostly for testing uh, purposes, but the good news is that for this demo, we have removed this and instead we are using uh, a Filecoin K uh, KVS. And when I say Filecoin, we are for, again, for testing, we are not using the actual Filecoin blockchain, we are using Udico, which is a fork of Lotus and basically is kind of like a tested ground for the Filecoin blockchain. In addition to this, in the last demo, we were using one distributed key generation that came from, uh, from the Frost paper. And since then, we have changed our distributed key generation. And um, we've kind of like upgraded it. And now uh, we can tolerate failure. In the previous demo, we had to, like, if there was one malicious participant, the DKG would, would like abort and would not complete. Now, the DKG will complete even with the malicious participants. And basically, I'm going to show you uh, that in today's demo. So let's get to it. I'm going to start by launching everything. So again, we are using Udico. So this is the kind of like um, playground for, for uh, Filecoin. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to add the initial um, miners. So here, what's going to happen is that these miners Basically, again, as in the previous demo, we use like fake power. We don't use like real, real storage. So we are, um, so we are just simulating like miners. And uh, the first step of the protocol that they do is that they do the distributed key generation, and then they have their keys. And now that they have their keys, they can check, out. and they're going to do that every twenty-five blocks. So here we have one. Um, one checkpoint that has just happened. So let's, and we're going to so, soon have another one. So let's wait for this in a few, few seconds. Okay, so now that's another checkpoint. So now what we're going to do is that we are going to add another node. And as I have hit, hinted to you, we are going to add another node that is malicious. So, okay, so first we let this node uh, sync with the rest of the player. And now again, we are gonna do um, as we did before, we're just gonna 
like add the fake power of our um, malicious miner. So now here you see that basically, uh, you see that complaint here. So what this shows is that the miners, they have spotted that Don was malicious. So they have sent each other complaint being like, wait, this guy um, is doing something wrong. We don't want to keep going with him. So we are just gonna finish the protocol on our own. And basically that's what they do. And so here you see that they just like uh, um, continue signing, but however, Dom will not be included in the rest of the checkpoints. So let's, um, let's wait for another checkpoint. Um, here we go. And here we see that Dom didn't, um, didn't do anything because he's not part of the, of the new set of mine. Uh, okay, so now again, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and check the checkpoint on the on the Bitcoin testnet network. So we can see we can see what's happened. Okay, so here let me uh, let me copy. So that's basically the transaction idea of the of the checkpoint that Dom has retrieved when he joined the protocol. So I'm going to go on a Bitcoin testnet explorer. I'm going to put this CID in. And then basically we see like the checkpoint transaction. And from here, what we can do is we can just follow the chain of transaction and see like every checkpoint that has happened. They are linked like this way. So that's that's pretty cool. We can just like follow the state of the Filecoin chain using uh, Bitcoin. And we see that all the transactions are unconfirmed because we've just like made them right. And here we arrive to the end. And um, now you know what, let me look more closely at the, at the transaction. And here we see that we have some data. So like the checkpoint and this data can be used to retrieve um, information about the Filecoin chain. Um, and here you can see you can see here that uh, unlike last time where we we, are, we were using Minio, now we are using a KVS that in that, that is like integrated with Filecoin. So we can see that uh, here, Dom when he joined, he could get the data from the KVS basically using this. So that's it for me. Uh, feel I. Don't think we have time for a question, but uh, feel free to ask them on Slack on our uh, Consensus Lab channel uh, or in the chat here. I'll, I'll be staying.